we've had some people request that we make a video on how we uh, do the tattooing uh, of our animals when we're going to get them uh, tattooed for registration. Uh, we created a little kit and basically it's a, a fishing kit right here. You're going to need uh, probably three sets of each number of zero through nine and so we have that in some uh, different dividers here to make it easier to find the numbers. We also have uh, all the letters of the alphabet because you're going to need one for each year uh, that identifies what a year they were born. These uh, individual tattoos are going to be going in these guns and you, you need to make sure when you're buying one of these guns that you have the right size. There's a different, a little different size of these and you just need to make sure that you're getting the right size for the gun you get. We have two different guns uh, or pliers, whatever you want to call it. The reason we have that, you, you always have to have a herd prefix in the right ear and we do not want to take the time of changing all the letters back and forth uh, for the herd prefix uh, each time. So we have one set of pliers that always keeps our herd prefix in that. Then the other one we change for whatever the unique number is. Two different parts of this. Uh, this one is going when you squeeze that, it's basically going to if you squeeze hard enough, it's going to go all the way through the ear. This other one we got, and I wish we had both of them like this, has a little spring on that, and uh, it, it helps prevent that from going all the way through the ear. It just uh, helps make the hole, but keep it from going through. So um, I, I wish we had two of these, but uh, it, it's not that big of a deal. One thing you'll uh, need is to clean the ears before you do this to disinfect that. We used to use alcohol. Someone told us this Lysol disinfectant was something better to use. It will disinfect that, but it also cuts the grease in the ear better and, and helps clean it better. Uh, that's just for cleaning the, at the inside of the ear. Uh, once we put the numbers in this, we are going to dip that in alcohol and we'll have a little butter cup or something like that that we'll have alcohol in. Uh, dip the uh, bottom of this into the alcohol before we actually do the tattooing. Uh, you, you're also going to need ink. When you buy these guns it's normally going to come with some kind of black ink tattoo. From the very day we got into this uh, people have told us don't use that use the green paste. So uh, we've always used the green paste and it seems like it it, it does a, a very good job so uh, we always buy the, the paste and just uh, throw away the green ink. You're going to take that, you need a toothpaste, I'm going to put some of that on and you, I'll show you how that uh, put that on the ear. Also we have a little shaker here that we put uh, baking soda and we'll show you how we use the baking soda on that to help uh, set the uh, tattoo and make it uh, much easier to read. So let's go ahead and look at uh, how we actually do this. Spray these. the ears to clean them and disinfect with the Lysol cleaner. Just spray it and wipe it off. Now we're putting on the, the green paste. We're going to put this on before we do the tattooing on each ear. Let it dry just a second or, or a couple of seconds. That's going to allow us when we actually do the tattoo, it's going to poke that ink into the skin. Then we're going to come back after that and uh, do a wipe to get the outside again. We're doing the tattoo for the uh, farm prefix. Putting that on the right ear. That'll poke the holes into that. It's poked the ink into the hole. Then uh, Anita is about to come back and do a wipe of the ink again, which is going to push it 
the rest of it into the holes with a toothbrush. Now we're putting some baking soda on this. Uh, this has a couple of uh, effects. One, it's going to dry the ink so that it doesn't uh, go around and get on everything else. Uh, second, it's going to, if there's any little bleeding that's coming in, it's going to stop the bleeding. And then third, it helps set the holes from those tattoos to actually pop up and be much easier red. Okay, we've tattooed both ears. The right ear had the herd prefix, the left ear had the uh, actual number. Uh, we use our, our ear tattoos. This is the same number as the tattoo, so we don't have to check the tattoo it, itself. We've done both of these. We have two different guns for doing the tattoo. One just keeps the herd prefix in it all the time, so we don't have to change back and forth. The other one, we just put the unique numbers in, and that makes it much easier for getting the tattooing done.